looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over some of the stuff that we did go over today on the stream and stuff. So, guys, we do have the Gridiron notes, as you guys do know. We are getting a title update today at 11 uh, a.m. Eastern Time. So, pretty exciting, guys. This title update is one of the biggest ones I've seen all year. Now, what's exciting about this title update is that, well... Not exciting, but they pretty much got, they went through a lot of issues that we've been dealing with all year, which considering how many were on the list, it really makes you think how broken this game has been. Like we are in February, the Super Bowl is this week and the game was essentially broken all year, right? So, you know, I'm gonna go over the good iron notes. You're gonna see there's so much stuff that's fixed that it just, it, it's not like at this point, we don't even view it as an issue. Like the issues that were fixed, we just view it as Madden, right? We're at a point where these issues are just Madden. Like, oh, in cover three, if you smoke screen the outside guy and you streak the slot, the slot gets wide open, they don't play him. That's like just a thing that's been going on with Madden. Like, I'm you, that's how you play this year's game. So, it's gonna be, it's gonna change the game a lot. Now, it only affects competitive modes. So, I guess if you play like in simulation or if you play in arcade or something, you may not notice it. Uh, but I think just a competitive game mode or competitive gameplay style is the only one that's going to be affected by a lot of these changes. But not all, just some. But I'll go over all that in just a second. Before we get into the video, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. Make sure you guys do a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below and let me know who is your Super Bowl favorite. I'm still leaning towards the Chiefs. Chiefs take it, Mahomes MVP. Although, for Madden purposes, I would like the Chiefs to take it and Leonard Fournette to win MVP. If that was even possible, right? I want the Chiefs to win it. In real life, but in Madden purposes, I don't care how Leonard Fournette should win MVP. 80k right there for that predictor token. That'd be great. Uh, but yeah, enough of that, guys. Let's head over to the gridiron notes and go over everything. It is pretty lengthy. Guys, so here's the title update landing page right here, as you guys can see. Typical Madden cover. The first thing, Madden NFL 21, Xbox Series X, and PS5. Key highlights. In competitive only, only players with the reach forward ability will trigger in certain reaches, which is great because as you guys know, all year reach for it was dumb. You had it, you reached for the first down. You didn't have it, you reached even further for the first down. It made no sense. Extensive coverage fixes for cover three, cover four, and man. Uh, locomotion and pursuit improvements. Made blocking improvements to handle DBs. Fixed unintended penalties from the defensive line, which was another issue where you'd be running into your you'd be running into the quarterback after a play, and the play's been done already. Like the ball's already caught and you just hit him. And it would just ruin the play. Pass coverage. Tuning to outside deep zone defenders in cover three to improve the timing of the drop to get the appropriate coverage depth when aligned over an inside receiver running a short route, drag, smoke screen, etc. So pretty much this is exactly what I was saying when you would smoke screen or drag the outside receiver and then streak the inside and you would just get a e free release. Um, tuning to outside deep zone defenders in cover three to reduce the frequency of jumping inside to cover an out route from the slot. So that again would leave the outside receiver open on a streak fade to get behind them. Fix an issue causing receivers to sometimes run into the back of a slower defender playing a deep zone assignment, leading to an avoidance animation disrupting the route. So this is going to be affecting the receivers. Receivers to crash into the back of a slower defender playing a deep zone assignment, leading to an avoidance animation disrupting the route. You know, gonna gonna change again. The, a lot of things in gameplay are gonna change. The ways you plays will feel different. Not sure exactly how each and every one's going to impact you in game, but you'll see it. Um, updated cover four quarters to use more man matching principles against strip formations and improved transitioning from zone to man when matching certain vertical routes. That's good too. Let's see, zone anticipation of vertical routes moving to the middle of the field to reduce the likelihood of big plays over the top of all the deep zone defenders. That's good. Added logic to make the reaction of linebackers and man coverage more authentic when covering a running back. Yeah, linebackers really just sucked in. And in man coverage, you got a running back, whatever, they got killed by literally every route they ran. And then, you know, some stuff here for QB spy assignments. This would, uh, another issue causing the cornerbacks to instantly rush the passer when playing man coverage and RPO screen plays. Fixed an issue causing all underneath the zone defenders to break out of the coverage and rush the quarterback when he rolled up the pocket, even if he was not close to the line of scrimmage. So that's good because people love doing that all game. They just scramble to the sideline, draw on the defenders, and then all you got to do is just playmaker the uh, outside receiver up, and it's pretty much a 40, 50 yard play every time. Uh, let's see. Fixed an issue causing. Okay. Tuning to improve jam press criteria so user control defenders. Again, you don't really user control cornerbacks and press jam, so. Unless you do. If you do, it's kind of weird, but enjoy. Tackling and blocking fix an issue, allowing an exploit blitz with nickel corners in the contain assignment. New logic and movement has been implemented for pass blockers to better react to this exploit blitz, which is most common to run out of formations like Dime 146. If you're a meta blitzer, you deserve that. Fix an issue sometimes causing defenders to get stuck in a breakdown fake out when ball carriers are being tackled in close proximity. Fix an issue causing unintended roughing the pass penalties and pass rushers could obviously see the ball and be released. That's important. You know how many times I've seen a big, like, it was like a third down, 
and the guy makes a, a big play and then he, he gets over the receiver and I thought I, I, got, I thought I got away with it on third or fourth down and I see the plaid go up and it's, I rough the passer and I, you could feel it too, like your remote vibrates short, long after or you can just tell he got rocked. It was, it was the dumbest thing. Fix an issue with a reach sack animation that could get misaligned and make it appear like the quarterback would be tackled by air. Sounds important. Locomotion uh, tuning. Tuning to reduce steerability while in trucking animations. So that was the, the truck glitch early in the year where you would just like truck and then just sprint out of it and just slow everyone down. Fix an issue causing ball carriers to get stuck in the running assignment and run out of bounds. Fix an issue causing defenders to sometimes use the option quarterback carry style when switching uh, ball hands after interception. That's good. Let's see, fix an issue causing tight ends to slide on the cut when running corner routes against certain routes. So sometimes slide on the cut. So that's like, I guess when they just slip up against certain coverages or slide, I don't even know what that means, slide. Tuning to improve ball carry ability to get through the line when running routes in the backfield. Ball Tuning to improve ball carry ability to get through the line when running routes. Okay, that, that's good actually. Cause sometimes they get stuck back there and they can't get out of the backfield. That's always annoying. Um, let's see, fix the rare issue causing the ball carry to freeze up after two spin moves were used in quick succession. Fixed an issue causing the running back's receiver icon to disappear after the handoff when running gun doubles Y off RPO zone Y peak. That is a hand, that is a mouthful. Passing. All right here. So fix an issue causing the quarterback to throw an odd pass when running single back wing pair halfback dive alert smoke. Fixed an issue causing the quarterback's arms to get caught up on, on caught up on the running back when attempting to pass during the handoff when running gun wing slot offset PA jailbreak screen. Wow. Abilities. Tuning to will only allow players with the reach for ability equipped to be able to trigger successful pile on first down marker reach tackles for competitive game style. Fix a visual issue allowing the in-game indicators to remain visible during the play. Um, let's see, during the entire play when using Blitz Radar and Threat Detector. Environment. Fix various issues sometimes causing the coach or other sideline players to ghost through an opposing player during various sideline interactions with players running out of bounds. It's just, you know, looks, visuals. Fix an issue preventing slide uh, sideline help of animations when triggering situations where they should. General gameplay improvements. Fix an issue sometimes causing a new field to load with invisible players after switching practice tech to practice pause menu. And then fix an issue causing the punter to line up too close to the line of scrimmage when punting from inside the five yard line, allowing the punt to be blocked too frequently. Gameplay updates. I think this is uh, for current gen. Fix an issue causing the tight end to stay in his three point stance after being motioned to the slot on running plays. Fix an issue, uh, same thing with indicators, quarterbacks arms get caught. Tuning to distance based receivers to so the receivers increase the receivers win chance on the cut versus man coverage defender without accountability as long as the cut is performing in the designated area. So, so I guess that's for abilities. Fix an issue sometimes causing cornerbacks to instantly rush the passer when playing man coverage on field screen plays. This is the uh, cover three deep, so pretty much it. So I guess we didn't get all those, I guess a lot of those updates were from, uh, you know, new gen, uh, the crew, well, do we call it current gen now or next gen, right? So next gen, let's just still call it. They they tuned a lot of stuff on there, and then current gen got some of the some of that stuff fixed. Current gen did not get all the love. Maybe current gen didn't have all those issues either. But yeah, guys, that's kind of it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know I sure did. I love I love some good fixes. Now the issue is, comment down below what is the newest glitch that's gonna happen because whenever they do a big patch like this, they break the game. So let me know down below what is the what is the big glitch that's going to happen from this. What do you guys suspect? What's going to break next? The cover three stuff is good. I mean, those, those, you know, it was kind of annoying that literally all game you had to sit and like over the top or protect the sticks to avoid all the cover three beaters. It's nice to now know that you don't have to maybe do that all game again. I'm not going to trust yet until I see it. going to still be playing over the top, protecting sticks and making sure I'm covering up because I do not want to have to deal with one play touchdowns all game. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're to the channel, subscribe, turn the noti bell. Always like and comment, guys. Like I said, it helps the channel out a lot if you smash the like button and comment, whatever. Super Bowl favorite. Who do you think is winning MVP? Let me know down below. That's it. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.